Hello class, Professor Anderson here. Uh, let's take a look at a problem uh, involving Newton's law of gravitation. Let's say you're on the surface of Mars and you are standing there and you drop a rock a height of two meters, okay? So H equals two meters. And we wanna know how long does it take to hit the ground? Okay, so let's think about the forces that are acting on that rock. Okay, here's the rock. And as soon as I let it go, gravity is of course pulling it down. And that's it, right? Gravity is the only thing pulling it down. And so gravity, according to Newton, is GMM over R squared. So if that's the only force, Newton also said that that's equal to the mass times the acceleration. And now look what happens. The little m's cancel out, and we have acceleration is equal to g big M over R squared. And if you're at the surface of Mars, then we just want the radius of Mars. Big M is, of course, the mass of Mars. G is the universal constant. Okay, the question was, how long does it take to hit the ground? And so to answer that, we can go back to our kinematic equations. Y final equals Y initial plus Vy initial times T plus one half A sub Y T squared. Y final is zero. Y initial is H. V initial is zero, it starts from rest. Acceleration is that, but it is of course, it's of course downwards, and so we need to include a minus sign. And we have big G, big M over R squared, and we're gonna multiply that by T squared. And now we can solve this equation for T, right? We get T is equal to two R squared times H divided by big G, big M, and all of that square rooted, okay? And now we have all those numbers and so we can plug it in. So if you look in your textbook or you could look online, you can find the radius of Mars and the radius of Mars is 3.37 times 10 to the six. So we've got 3.37 times 10 to the six. We're going to square that. We're gonna multiply by two. We're gonna multiply by the height, which we also said was two meters, equals that. And now we divide by universal constant, 6.67, 10 to the minus 11. And we're going to also divide by mass of Mars, which is 6.42 times 10 to the 23. Okay, and now we take the square root of that whole thing. And you should get T equals 1.03 seconds. Okay, double check my numbers on that. Make sure you get same thing. Your numbers will likely be different uh, for the initial values. And uh, that should be clear. If you have any questions, come see me in my office. Cheers.